Hey again, welcome to Eric Long for Life and Foot. And today we're going to start with something simple, but it's a little quiz that I like to make. We're going to make a little Italian hip hop today. And the hair is very straightforward to make, you know, but there's a special kind of sauce that I like to make. The special sauce that I like to make has the ingredients. Has the ingredients, tomato sauce, tomato paste, mushrooms, olives, and top it all off with the open and fresh. Uh, oh, Alright, hot man pan is a perfect word, you know. But uh, it's shock it for sale. On uh, Hillside Farm, shock it for sale. Then with pork, turkey, and beef. Now, the first thing to do, what you might need in order for the shot, you need this for here. A spoon, or a wooden spoon, whatever you call it. Um, I call it a new spoon right here. We had it stirred up your spaghetti or so. For the shot, for the shot, you might need a shot pan right here. And you need a tail of pot for so. Now, my number one rule in order, in order to cook the stuff is make sure you wash your hands or so. You want to go ahead and wash your hands. You want to go ahead and wash your hands or so. Kind of make sure your hands get nice and soaky and stuff. Now, 15 point seconds or so. Pop. Dry your hand really good. Now, since you already prepare your hand, prepare your hand. We're going to fill up the pot with water. Water. In order, in order to put the spaghetti in, you have to put, make sure the water is boiling. You at least between, I think the water boils at 200, 250 degrees or so. Yeah, and I always, and I always, um, Turn the water thing on higher, so. And for, and for a little his and stuff. Now for a little his, you have to be careful. I mean, and that's talking about, that's talking to you for little children. So it's nice to put with your parents and stuff, but for his, why don't you let his parents, adults, handle the gold and knife or so, okay? Yeah, that thing can burn you and can hurt you. It's going to catch you on fire, so we don't want that to happen or so. So, we'll save you for talking as well. What we're going to do now is kind of easy and I didn't want to pull my stuff in here. Hold on one sec. Uh, 
I can tell, tell you the truth, I had an apron on the shirt, but pretty much, not, well, hardly anyone wears an apron themselves. No, I, I'm not saying it's a requirement. I mean, you don't need one, you don't need one, okay? No, I don't need one, so, but for that pussy show, I like to wear one or so, you know. Yeah. Just for my fucking, just for my fucking show or so. Okay. So let's see, I can open the darn thing up here. Okay, I did. What you need is a nice chef knife. Right here. Let me put it down a little bit lower so that you can see. Right here, I cut, I cut and guide my hands right here. Tell you about a nine, um, half, three, four inch. If you want to do an inch or something like that, that's okay, no. But you kind of cut it nice and so, nice, nice for yourself. Um, I might have to ever end with a sausage as well. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Just pack the jockeys and stuff. Uh, it's telling you the truth, I mean... You gotta make sure your jockeys cook very good. I mean, put through me. I mean, we don't want, we don't want foodborne illness to happen or so. Let me kind of wash the knife off a little bit. And by the turn, I'm going to prepare the sauce pan with it. I'm just going to put a little bit of, I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil here. There's a, there's a little bit of olive oil and stuff. Now let's move on to the Next phase. Let's move on to the next phase. I I have my socket cut. I might just, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my hand. And the other thing for adults to do, I mean, Sometimes with supervised adults, with adult supervision, being over the kids and learn how to stir the pot, stir the sauce or something like that. But you gotta make sure you ask a grown up or so. So that the kids won't get hurt. Hey, see, I'm doing a cooking show. Huh? I'm doing a cooking show, man. What, do you need help? No. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I have my friend Steve over here. I do a YouTube video, so... Alright, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I'm trying to get hot a little bit. 
Yeah, but you gotta make sure you try to tilt it. So I'm gonna use a butter knife. Yeah. I figured to come over and see see what you're up to for a little bit. Yeah, I'm doing a cooking show. Cool. All right. Yeah. What did you think about mine? You're pretty good. Yeah, I, my mom taught me how to do those. Yeah. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the potato sauce in here. You put some noodles in that and put some of them uh, sausages in there? Yep. Correct. Cool. You're correct, Steve. Cool. Now I'm making my own special sauce. Cool. All right. I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, the next thing, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open a can of tomato paste to make sure it's not tomato paste and creamy and stuff. The tomato paste, I mean, you, I use it a lot of time on lasagna and stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to um, this is tomato paste. I want to see how far my battery is. I might need to take my battery or so. Oh, we might. Oh, it's going to Almost ready to boil. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my sausage in here. I'm gonna tie it to a flow. So I wanna make sure more I'm sausage by itself, I'm gonna hot hot here, so. Kind of clean it up here. Clean it up. The is almost, um, we're going to put in the olive. We're going to drain the olive and stuff. I got some sliced kind of olive. But it doesn't matter what kind you have, what kind of olive you have. Well, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on kind number four or so. The water is almost boiling right now. So. Yeah, one more final ingredient to do, and that's the mushroom. Okay, that, right now we got the water and boiling right now. So I'm going to lower the heat on the, on the oven. Uh, it looks like the timer is still good. What I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to Right now, I'm just going to push. Oh, I, I, yeah, I'm doing it. I have to, I'm just going to push the pot there, so we're going to push for just 15 minutes or so. 
So I'm going to set the timer or something like that. Still working on the mushrooms and stuff on my special shot. So we can try to drain the mushrooms good. Make sure the mushrooms are green. You gotta be really careful with the stuff green with on the can. They were very dangerous. I had it happen to me before, and it's not free. I know where the one of the lids at. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stir it up here. It's, it's really made and stuff now. And we'll pop it right there. Okay, we're back from Eric's er, er, wonderful life, wonderful cooking show, you know. Okay. I think we need to work on some more stuff here. Well, I'm just doing right now, and I'm kind of, I'm always here to get you up a little bit. Um. You gotta make sure, you gotta make sure, um, the potato is all young, I mean, not hard, but nice and soft. I mean, not too soft and still. I'm going to try to season the sauce a little bit. I'm going to season the sauce a little bit with some Italian seasoning. With some Italian seasoning. And some onion powder. We'll stir the pot, we'll stir the sauce a little bit more. There's a really point in a bigger pot, but that's okay. I'm going to try to raise the temperature a little bit right here. Yeah, at least it's it. And I feel, um, this takes me about 15 minutes to serve the spaghetti itself. Um, and so far, I think I'm going to take off my glove. I'm going to put my other mitt on or so. I mean, it's kind of true. I mean, cooking is really easy and stuff, you know. 
and really love to cook. But the only thing I hate to do is to make clean up after it, but you do need to clean up after it stuff, you know. Because, I mean, you have to get the dishes done, you have to clean the counters and stuff. I mean, that, that's probably the worst thing about cooking, I mean, you have to clean up after yourself, you know. But other than that, I mean, I like to put the stuff together, so. And I think almost done, we're almost done with the cooking and stuff. Just gotta make sure everything's doing really okay. Gotta make sure uh, you get down or so. I might have my friend Steve have me clean up or so. But anyway, that, you're almost done with the sauce, you're almost done with the spaghetti. And I think it should be good to go. The last step is to drain the sauce. Drain the sauce and then press the paint. It's to drain the sauce and then press the paint. And then make it just a plate of spaghetti with some sauce with some of the sauce I made put on some parmesan cheese and you're good to go and that's I'm gonna take one more shot of it okay with that we're almost done with the um cooking and stuff I think right now I think we're good to go on the spaghetti, right now we're going to drain the spaghetti. The fish and sauce is almost done. And we're going to stir the sauce a little bit more. We'll, we'll put for a few more minutes. Okay, you got the, you got the spaghetti again. Um, you want a hot pad yourself. I think the sauce is done. I think it's probably good. Remove the sauce from the pot. I think I'm going to put the shot right here. And the timer is done. And I think we're good to go. And I'm Eric Holder and this has been Eric Wonderful Cooking. Okay, this is a second project right here. And it looks very good. All you guys do is Top it up with Parmesan cheese.